Uh, if you have any questions, I think uh, we have enough time, like 15 minutes. Uh, we can. I have a comment. I participated in this, and thank you so much for organizing it. Uh, regarding a lot of teams and a lot of uh, people, let's say, taking a lot of time to take photos, uh, you know Wikipedians, when they are let into the wild, uh, they like to take photos of every monument, every grass, every bird, every house. So that's why it took us a lot of time. But I think uh, that's a good thing because you will have like overall cover of everything where you let Wikipedians. <laughs> yes, but also like maybe plan um, less villages or, or uh, not that many uh, places to visit, so that you can count on Wikipedians to have an hour for a village or something like that. I mean, we, yes, we used a lot of time to roam around that old village, but I think we saw beautiful things and learned a of it. So uh, I think that it's good experience to be aware that it takes a lot of time for Wikipedia to take photos, but also it should be like implemented into the scheduled time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Can, can I also add a comment on that? Uh, we had, uh, from the Czech uh, community, I think we had a comment uh, on, on site, the expedition, they said like, what are you doing, the four of us? And we were like, we are all each divided in our uh, own role and we are more uh, time effective. Like, they, they were uh, arriving at the village in, in uh, Czech Republic and each one of them was taking pictures, uh, taking uh, care of some logistics. They didn't have uh, predetermined roles which uh, one of them should be doing. We are sharing our, uh, let's say, experience. We are doing this 10, year, 10 years al almost, and we are still evolving uh, each year by year. We started with, uh, the first expeditions were, were by, we were driven by a train. We didn't have car. Then we started with going with car. Uh, we impro uh, improved uh, a lot. Uh, a lot uh, region covered. Uh, then we, we took an SUV, which are allow us to go off-road. Uh, three years ago, we bought a drone, which we, which we thought that it will be uh, something to lose time, but it proved to be very helpful for us, because other than taking pictures from above, the drone we are, we are uh, using it for uh, on-site uh, researching to see if something is uh, approachable or not. Uh, this year uh, we, we are slowly bringing a fifth member uh, to our group, uh, which is a student in uh, uh, geography, and uh, he is uh, drawing maps. So next step will be to make better maps for the uh, places that we are uh, searching. So the plan for the uh, conference was to keep the group together, not to, to have control, not to uh, be separate. Yes, I can maybe agree that with some of the comments on the expeditions that we had that maybe if we separated the teams and each one had a one village to visit, but then we will lose the control of the, of the groups. And uh, if we say rural area in Macedonia, it's a rural area in Macedonia. So uh, the uh, help, together and etc. and logistics is very limited in, in that rural area. So that's why we kept the group together. Yes, we had planned for the maximum plan was 12th village, each group to each group to have uh, two possibilities to explore uh, individually and take pictures and to be responsible for, for that village. But the time showed us that we can only manage uh, six of them. But that is a very good learning because uh, we didn't know that uh, the pace would be like that and we learned that uh, it's impossible to bring more people and keep the same pace. Oh, I think... Uh, yeah, uh, so congratulations on that and uh, I don't know if you heard we, uh, in Poland we might uh, with five other communities we might ethnography of the Carpathians in 2016-17 and uh, I can hear that there were the same problems so now I'm relieved because I was very worried for years about this that we didn't bring to Wikimedia Foundation uh, so much pictures from Romania, for example, but the weather was so hot, not rainy, that we couldn't make uh, good pictures of artifacts in museums. Uh, the, the staff was 
taking this out of the zone because it was dark inside, but outside there was <laughs> so much sun that it was impossible and everything is, uh, you know, too shiny. And this, the weather is a problem, and also we had the same problem with groups. And we decided in Ukraine to divide uh, into cars and uh, two villages, two events at the same time. Uh, because this is, the, this is the good solution from uh, Miki, that uh, count less and make more later. This was my lesson learned after. Because people in villages, maybe this was the same for you, they were thinking, oh, you are here, and you know, in the house up, there is a lady, and she is making some beautiful things, and it was impossible to refuse this invitation. And suddenly it was like half to midnight, and we were in a Slovakian house with men <laughs> pumping a hammer to something. Uh, but uh, yeah, the results are uh, crazy about this, and this is my question also with you. Uh, were, were you thinking about involving museums? Because we are sending letters to the museums from the villages or regions before that we are coming. But I was then uh, connected to the museum. But any, anyway, you, uh, you can come on this because this is what is lacking in on Media Commons, uh, the collections from local museums. So this is my uh, spot. We mostly visit villages, uh, not uh, towns, and uh, usually in the villages there are not uh, some uh, smaller so many collections. Museums. Or some, um... Yeah, uh, in uh, 2016, eight years ago, we visited a museum and we documented uh, most of the exhibits uh, which were displayed inside that museum. But since then, uh, we haven't uh, visited any museums because uh, they were now located in these villages that we have visited. But uh, whenever we uh, encounter such uh, interesting uh, architectural places or archaeological sites, we typically uh, take pictures of them. For example, we also visit uh, monasteries, and usually the churches are sort of museums because uh, they have uh, collections of uh, uh, very significant and uh, precious uh, Christian uh, uh, objects. So uh, we typically uh, take pictures of them. But yes, uh, whenever we uh, visit a place and uh, there is uh, something of interest like a museum or any other uh, building, then uh, we document it. But uh, were you, are you um, writing before that uh, you should be expected? Yeah, uh, Tony, uh, Tony, uh, uh, Tony is the Our researcher. researcher. He's responsible for that. Uh, yeah, and he is, uh, uh, several days before the expedition, he is exploring everything that we should uh, uh. take. Uh, pictures or visit uh, on the expedition. So we are, for example, we are we know 80-90% uh, what is there in the village and what we can uh, find and uh, document. We are only left with 10% of improvisation, something that will be will occur on site. We usually collaborate with institutions to get some uh, reference works uh, to write articles. For example, to uh, collaborate with the National Library to the Academy of Sciences and Arts in order to get some materials to write uh, about uh, the visited places. Uh, Greta? Um, as you can see, it's quite challenging to organize guided tours for adults. So we've been doing this in Albania since a couple of years now, but we gave up on the guided tours. So what we do now, we will open a call for participants. We have a limited budget for the logistics. We ask photographers to apply and give us a um, kind of a plan, what, how much money do they need, and uh, which monuments, for example, do they want to photograph. So, yeah, like we solve it this way, without us being with them or and all what comes with the yeah, organization. Uh, that's the another model, but uh, we usually avoid it, and I think the idea is to not outsource uh, some activities, but to do it uh, in your own way, because uh, you know the Wikimedia project the best, and uh, you get the feeling on how something should be documented and written. Yeah, that's uh, also a feasible model. I know very com many communities that are doing the same. For example, there is a project in Austria called uh, Wiki Daheim, with the goal to encourage uh, people uh, to document uh, their villages and places of interest uh, through uh, a Wiki Last contest. So they uh, submit the pictures uh, to a photo contest and then uh, the best uh, contributors uh, get some awards. That's uh, how they're doing it. And there are also some other communities doing it in the same way. 
but we decided to go uh, our own way and uh, this uh, our training was uh, exactly about how we as Wikimedians, as Wikimedians can uh, uh, do the uh, outdoor research on our own. So we know that it's difficult, it's not easy, it's time consuming, it uh, requires a lot of efforts, but uh, in our case it works. Well, uh, just to add, the training and the conducting the wiki outdoor training is difficult. Uh, conducting the wiki expeditions for us is not it's difficult. Not we know uh, what, we are, what we are doing. We know uh, we have, for example, 50 villages planned for the weekend because we are usually doing the expeditions on weekends, so that's not a problem for us. The problem was to bring to, uh, the group together with almost 30 participants, international uh, participants, and to uh, lead them by example to show our example to them uh, and hopefully uh, because for us it, it proved to be a useful uh, method for documenting, uh, documenting. Yeah, this was I think the first or maybe one of the first uh, outdoor trainings that uh, the whole Wikimedia movement has. So Usually there are not a lot of trainings, you know, yeah. there are board trainings, but uh, the world trainings about, about uh, uh, conveying skills and competencies for people to uh, work on uh, the executive boards of the affiliates. So, uh, as for an outdoor training, uh, there are camps, but the camps are different. We have also organized two camps in the past. There are also other communities, for example, Armenia is uh, a very good example for organizing educational camps. But uh, an event of this kind, uh, this event is uh, probably uh, one of the first of this kind. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would like to ask if you advertise the participation in the project, for example, in schools. So, um, as in aspect of the next presentation, because we are looking for something that is cool to attract young people, and this project <laughs> looks like it's very cool. Uh, the project was uh, mostly aimed at uh, Wikimedians from other countries, uh, so we couldn't do it. But yes, we uh, do have uh, educational camps as an organization which aim at uh, students at uh, universities or in high schools. Yeah, but they are not like this one. So no, they're not like this one. They're mostly, they're mostly to get them involved in writing Wikipedia articles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, congratulations on this. Uh, being the first one. Hopefully it will become an annual. Um, I'm uh, very sad not to be there, but I, I hope it will be an annual one and I'll have an opportunity to participate. I have a question about your local um, VK outdoors, uh, the, the expeditions you go. So as I understand, uh, you are four of you who are going to these expeditions and uh, why aren't you trying to do some kind of training uh, um, of trainers and uh, passing the knowledge and how to do the logistics and everything to other uh, community members so that your work will be continuous and a lot more groups can do this uh, as well not only you four because it will be difficult uh, to do this all the time okay. yeah. uh, though you did it the idea of this training is, uh, was to train trainers so uh, we expect from the participants uh, to uh, become leaders in their communities and uh, organize uh, similar activities there and during the round table introduction of the event uh, people uh, express their ideas and their plans in the future and even in the registration form we I uh, had questions about how do you plan to uh, use the knowledge acquired during this training here within your community. What about just, your local just, community? I will add, add uh, on that. Uh, we are at 65-70% coverage of our country, that, uh, our group of four. So we are planning to finish the, the work in three to four years. Yeah, if we are, if we are at 100%, at least. Uh, we will uh, still have something that through the years was, let's say, uh, improved or something like that. But to add on your uh, question, uh, from time to time we are bringing a fifth member who is interested in doing something like this. And the first day is interesting for them, the second day is like, this is too difficult for us. Because we are starting early in the morning, at 8 o'clock, and we are uh, out there till 7, 8 at night, till there is a sunshine. Uh, as I mentioned, we are slowly bringing our fifth member, that's why we are slowly bringing our fifth member, which is 10 years younger than us, or maybe more, uh, who hopefully will uh, uh, create in the future his own team and 
uh, 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 ads on this matter. So yeah, the four of us, it's because Macedonia is a small country, it's not very big, but it's, uh, we are doing seven to eight maximum expeditions per, per year. So that's enough tempo for, for covering uh, the rural uh, areas. Uh, we're doing four actually. But if, if we include uh, the geo yeah, expeditions yeah, and the well expeditions, yeah, 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 yeah. So most of the articles and pictures about these regions were made by your team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So without your team, there would be no like There will be uh, uh, if some people. If some people come from uh, the region where the village is located, yeah. uh, there may be some content uh, with them added to Wikipedia. We're talking about otherwise, photographs. Otherwise, no. But the problem is that uh, we don't. Uh, we usually uh, don't have the images. Uh, <coughs> we didn't have uh, a lot of images from the villages, and that's why we decided to uh, start this project. I think we're out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one minute. One minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just share the uh, situation from my country, Japan. Okay. So, uh, Japan has a uh, uh, similar project called uh, Wikipedia Town. And on um, this project, uh, local libraries or local institutions ask Wikimedia to host events such as uh, Wiki Expert like e Expedition and uh, Wikipedia editing events like uh, about the re uh, regional topics. So uh, I think uh, some the collaboration with uh, uh, such plan or other institutions are very effective. Uh, so uh, libraries uh, support us uh, a lot of things like uh, guides or other like, and so on. So uh, I want to uh, read your uh, projects on it. <laughs> so yeah, so sure. Uh, would like to publish a diff report <laughs> on uh, the diff blog post, and uh, I can share it with you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. I really hope that uh, uh, other communities in the C region would like to uh, take over this uh, outdoor training camp to organize it in 